Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we're going to be looking at a new disguise terminal that will be coming to the game. Now I have absolutely no clue when this will actually be released. The next two disguise terminals that we probably will see will be the Imperial and Republic Trooper disguise terminals coming with patch 5.10. I don't know about this Wookiee one but that's basically what this new one is. It will allow you to disguise yourself as a Wookiee and gives you kind of these really cool abilities that you can do. The role playing opportunities are numerous. I just think in general these disguise terminals are really neat and cool to, to do in your own, own strongholds and stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So the Wookiee one basically, um, first of all just from the design of the disguise terminal itself is really cool. I'm here on the Rishi stronghold just because it's really well suited for, these, for this entire item. You have like a tree coming out the back and stuff and it kind of looks with all these leaves and stuff. It looks very foresty. And um, you can go ahead and disguise yourself and when you become a Wookiee you'll see that he has a very similar appearance to Baudar who is a smuggler's companion. Also you'll see like the remnants of that droid. I, I can't for the life of me remember their name but it's that Wookiee with the droid from like Rishi and stuff. Um, that you have during the whole Theron and Lana Benico uh, storyline. Anyways you look very similar to that Wookiee uh, but he has like a very thin frame so he's not very built so that's... Um, Kind of a downside, I'd say. I would have preferred the Wookiee to be a little bit bigger and stuff. But anyways, point is, he has like a bow caster stuck on his back and he can do all of these abilities. Very similar to the Hut and Cantina Dancer disguises that we already have in game. And so I'll show you guys these abilities as we kind of go through right now. Basically, they're very similar to the other ones. Like, you can disagree, you can roar, you can kind of nod your head. Um, the cool one for the Wookiee is that you can actually uh, raise your weapon up in the air and do that sound very similar to like what Chewbacca does in the original trilogy and that's a really cool nice touch to this one. Um, it took me a little bit of a while to figure out but you have to press Z to actually bring out your weapon. At first I thought that was just a cosmetic thing but no you can actually bring out your weapon. You cannot shoot, you cannot do emotes with it, that's unfortunate but you, you're only limited to the abilities that they've given you. However, the point is, it is still a really cool disguise terminal, and if pricing stays the same, it's going to be priced somewhere around 500 to 800 cartel coins. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video on this little bit of a preview. I do think this one is probably going to be the coolest. I mean, right now the hut is the coolest one, but once all the disguise terminals reached, uh, are, sorry, are released, I don't think anyone's going to quite reach the awesomeness of a Wookiee disguise terminal that that is I think going to be one of the best hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think about this Wookiee terminal in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one